Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. The message I heard is truly be a friend. The scripture comes from Psalm 149. Praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song. His praise in the assembly of his faithful people. Let Israel rejoice in their maker. Let the people of Zion be glad in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the humble with victory. Let his faithful people rejoice in his honor and sing for joy on their beds. May the praise of God be in their mouths and a double-edged sword in their hands to inflict vengeance on the nations and punishment on the peoples, to bind their kings with fetters, their nobles with shackles of iron, to carry out the sentence written against them. This is the glory of all his faithful people. Praise the Lord. So God is saying that um, for his faithful servants, there is going to come a time when we are going to be called to go against the sinners. There is going to come a time when we are going to have to, um, <laughs> we're going to have to be, go we're going to have to go against the sinners. Um, God is saying, regardless if you want to or not, you are going to have to do this because you are going to be called out. You know, um, Satan's time is running out. And because of that, he is starting to um, push people to push the agenda further. He wants as many souls as he can possibly get to come with him to hell. And God is saying you have to truly be a friend in this time. And you have to truly be a friend to our Heavenly Father. And in order to be a friend to our Heavenly Father, you have to stand with him in this fight. Not only that, but you need to truly be a friend. God is saying to those around you, you know, um, some of you, you have friends, you have family members that are living in sin. And instead of telling them about this sin, instead of opening your mouth and letting them know that they need to repent of this sin, you are um, just allowing them to carry on. And God is saying, if you truly love that person, you will tell them that they need to repent. And, you know, I know it's scary. I know it's scary. Because um, some people just don't want, they don't want to hear it. They don't want to be bothered. And they, um, especially, it's, it's nothing worse than when they feel like they don't want to hear it from you. Like, they, they feel like they can't hear it from you. And they, they push it to the side because it's you. And how dare you come to me and tell me that I need to change? How dare you tell me this? You tell me that. But, um... God is saying at this time, if you truly care about these people, if you truly love them, truly, if you really love them the way that you say you love them, you would go ahead and you would help them to be saved. God says, may the praise of God be in your mouth and a double-edged sword in your hands to inflict vengeance on the nations and punishment on the peoples, to bind their kings with fetters their nobles with shackles of iron. God says that you can't be scared. You you got to be going out. You got to be like, so I'm outside of the club and they think I'm a fun. God said you got to be ready to uh really go at it, at it with these demons because these demons is not playing. These demons not playing. And you got to show these demons that you're not playing either. You got to put your foot. You got to have your foot on these demons next right now. You got to really have your foot on these demons necks at this point in time because God is fighting like no, no doubt. God is fighting. God is fighting this war and God is going to win this war. It's already been won. But these demons is trying to take as many souls as they can. And God said he don't want his children to perish. So try to get as many as you can. You know, um, I feel like some people are so busy trying to be competitive and trying to expose this and trying to expose that. And I got to show that you're a fake and you don't really do this and you don't really, instead of trying to make somebody out to be this monster, instead of trying to destroy somebody, instead of trying to destroy somebody, like, why don't you go and help them? Go save them and stop being ugly. 
like I, I don't know what what it is with some people that do that you know especially if it's a situation I, I understand if somebody is bullying you and they picking on you and they messing with you that's one thing because they not gonna listen to you that and it's a difference between somebody that's doing that than somebody that you looking down upon them because you don't like the way that they live their life are you looking down upon them because you don't like certain things about them and instead of you trying to help them you want to try to attack them you know don't god says don't do that we're supposed to love one another especially in this time because it is it, it's imperative it is important to god that he has his children he it, he he says it means a lot to him for his children to be in heaven with him and because there are certain people that are scaring away the children that um they may have sinned, but we all fall short. Yeah, they may have done this, that, and the third, but we all fall short. And it is not fair for somebody that feel as though they have repented of everything that they possibly could, and they holier than thou, and they perfect, and they got their life together to feel like they are not going to allow any, um, okay, like they too good, okay, they say they... They, you know what, don't stink. And they so good. They they got it all going on to the point that can't no sinner sit next to them. God said, if you don't stop being like that, because that sinner is your sister, that sinner is your friend, that sinner is your brother, that sinner is your neighbor. And you are supposed to extend a hand of love to them. You are supposed to be trying to save them. God says, save, 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 save. It's all good and daddy. He's not saying that you can't feed the children that are already saved. He's not saying that you can't help his children that are already saved. He's not saying that you can't be there to be um a kind hand to the children that's already saved. But it is imperative right now that we save these lost souls. God said you got to truly be a friend right now. Don't just leave them to the side. Don't just push them to the side because you don't like the way they dress. Don't just push them to the side because you don't like their hair. Don't just push them to the side because you don't like the way they, um, what they make up or whatever it is. It's just, it's stupid. It's crazy. God is saying, don't be like that. You know, at this time, yeah, they may sin. They may be full of sin, but you never know what sinner actually wants to repent. And if you don't extend the hand to them for them to repent and you don't even um, give them the opportunity, then who's wrong? You're wrong, too. You know, you can't do that. And I'm not saying that everybody is doing that, but I just feel like that's for a specific person that's watching this video that has been um, just not really God saying God like God is saying you dropping the ball with this situation. Because it's somebody that God wants you to help. And if you are running from them because you don't like the way they look or the way they dress or you feel like they're such a sinner and you're too good for them, then you are dropping the ball with this. God really wants you to save this person. It's somebody God really wants you to save them. God really wants you to save them. And you have gotten to a point where you have closed yourself off to this person. You don't care no more. And I'm going to be real. I understand because I've been put in positions where God wanted me to save somebody and me trying to save them caused them to try to harm me. And, you know, I understand me trying to save people has caused people to hate me, has caused people to want to hurt me, has caused people to want to be mean to me, to mistreat me and all kinds of nonsense. So, you know, I understand. But God says. Try again. If you can't get them this time, God said he'll leave you alone about it. But try again. Try again. One more time. God said one more time. Just one more time. Try it again. Because he loves this person. He loves everybody. And he wants everybody to be saved. But, you know, for somebody, you are looking at this person and you're looking at their sin and you're just like, I don't want to deal with this mess. I don't want to deal with this mess. But God says you have to truly be a friend. <sighs> you have to truly, 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 if you really care about them, if you truly love them, if you truly want to see them in heaven, you have to truly be a friend. 
And um, that's the message. God is saying that he really wants you to try with this person. He really wants you to put forth the effort to save this person. Um, because at this moment, Satan has a grip on them. At this moment, Satan is really driving their life right now. Like, Satan is really pushing them forward. Um, they have just completely turned away from the ways of God. And God is saying that he doesn't want them to fall into this trap. He doesn't want them to, um, he doesn't want them to end up in a lake of fire. But, you know, the way that they're going, they are going to. If they don't stop what they're doing, they are going to. You know, um, and for somebody, it's a situation where you were sent back around this person. And you you know, you know, you were sent around this person, you know that they don't like you. They know that you know they don't like you. They have de deliberately tried to destroy you time and time and time again. And you just... You care about them, but you have just absolutely had enough. And you don't understand why God even puts you back in the situation to where you are back around them. And God is saying that is why. Because he wants you to try to save them again. He wants you to try. 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 Hmm. <sighs> And don't, 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 don't come in the comments. I feel like you're talking down on me or you being mean to me because, um, when it comes to my life, I don't want to, okay? I want to, but it's just like, I, after you have tried to save somebody over and over again and they don't want to listen, after you have tried to tell somebody what they have been doing wrong, especially when it comes to you personally, and they don't want to listen, after you tell somebody over and over that you want peace, that you want to be happy, that you need them to stop being, um, they need to let go of this Jezebel spirit. You know, um, this, this controlling spirit, this, this, uh, obnoxious, uh, obnoxious spirit, this, uh, obsessive spirit, this harassing spirit, this malicious spirit, this gossiping spirit, this lustful spirit, this envious spirit, and they refuse to let go of it. It kind of makes you not want to even deal with it. You know, you don't even want to deal with it. So I can understand I feel like that's the kind of, that's what you're up against. Whoever this is for, it's what you're, you're up against, a Jezebel spirit. It's a Jezebel spirit that is messing with you. It is a Jezebel spirit that has taken control of someone, and God wants you to save this person. But, um, you know, you have tried, and you have tried, and you have tried, and you have realized that this person don't want to be saved. But God said try again. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.